before we get into the video, let me just explain that this is probably not going to work, but I'm sure there's many people out there that think, well, oh, will it or won't it? And I've had a look online. I can't find anything to say it will or it won't, but I'm pretty sure it won't work, but I wanted to try it anyway. So in this video, we are going to be taking out the C drive, which is already here, by the way, because I've cloned it. This is the old C drive out of the AMD platform. It's got the operating system, it's got all the software on there. And what I'm going to do is take it out of the AMD one and put it into an Intel one and just turn it on, see if it works. It'd be interesting to find out. I would imagine it wouldn't work because you're going from a totally different platform and totally different setup on hardware as well. But, like I said earlier, I'm sure there's enough people out there who think, well, will it or won't it? So we're going to find out. So in that PC, the one behind the camera, I have an AMD 5950X and the motherboard is a Maximus 8 Hero with Wi-Fi. And we are going to be putting that C drive, oh, it's actually already here because I've cloned it, <laughs> just to get it ready. And we're going to plug it into an Intel, which is a Maximus, it's a Maximus 10. And it's got a Intel, I think it's a, it's a 8700K. 8, I'll stick it up there anyway and tell you exactly what it is. Yeah, so AMD to Intel. I thought, well, will it or won't it? Let's find out. It's all plugged in and raring to go, but like I said, I don't expect it to work, but you never know, it might work, or it might work with some issues. We will find out right now. So uh, with that, let's turn her on, shall we? Well, I am flabbergasted because I really didn't think it would work. I didn't think you could go from an AMD platform to an Intel platform and just clone the C drive from the AMD and stick it in an Intel one. But it recognised it because right at the beginning, when I turned it back on, it done some sort of install, but everything's there. Everything that's on that C drive is all working unless it's connected to a, another drive. Say, for instance, you've got a secondary drive installed as well, which I have. I've got, I think I've got about three drives in there. I've got about four in this one, but three drives in there. So any software that's linked to the Windows operating system on here, if it's on a different drive, it's not going to work, obviously. But the basics of it works, and I'm going to give you a quick example of it working. So on my Stream Deck, my Stream Deck works. It's all got everything on there. I didn't have to do nothing. Uh, that's my my live chat for when I do live streaming on my other channel, my Yorkie Slots. When I'm live streaming, I use that. I also use this press of a button on my you know stream deck. Everything's working fine. Coming up, popping up. Um, my actual OBS Streamlabs OBS. 
Give it a couple of seconds. Voila! Yeah, it's loading and it's there. I, I thought, that's ah, not going to work. It's going you know, to have issues, but no, it's working. Very pleased, quite impressed me, sir. It's a great way of backing up your C drive. If you've got a spare computer, you know, why not just clone it? I used this device for cloning. It wasn't sent to me, I did actually buy it. I will stick links in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. They are affiliated links, but it works extremely well. And as you can see, I've got a second computer that's got everything that's on that computer, except if it's on a different drive, of course, is now on this computer. And one other thing, I have a screensaver on that computer that I paid for, and you, you get one key. And I think I've got like a 100 screensavers. And yeah, like I said, you get one key, and you can't use it on any other computer. I can now. <laughs> it's on here. I'm not kidding you. It actually works on here as well. Yeah, definitely gets my thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if it gets your thumbs up by giving me the thumbs up. And also, let me know in the comments what you think or if you've already done this. But like I said, I really didn't expect it to work, and it does. So I'm very pleased about that. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. That's amazing. <laughs> I've got smacked. <laughs>